All right, so we got a tiny Nina we got to find. Although she's probably still... Oh, wait, no, she got swept away by a bird. Oh, okay, there we go. Ah, mischievous fairies. Okay. Ah, I'm gonna get eaten. Find a tree with a bird in it. Jesus. <laughs> doesn't have a bird in it, but I'm going to hit it anyway. Oh, great. Stung by a caterpillar. A robot was stung by a caterpillar. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, looks like we can hop across, maybe? Or get into a fight, whatever. I don't remember fairies really being in... I, di I didn't really play Breath of Fire 1, but I did 2, as well as 3, and I don't really remember fairies being a thing in Breath of Fire 2. I mean, there were fairy-like things, like Nina with wings and stuff kind of had a fairy-like appearance, but she wasn't a fairy. But I don't remember actually, like, a species of fairies being in the game. Breath of Fire 3 did, however. And they were these little assholes, really. They were this mis these uh, mis mischievous little bastards that went and shut down the lighthouse. Oh, I'm she in here. Oh, okay. So maybe this is a bad idea. How about you just hop off the side? You got wings. <laughs> Platforming doesn't make any sense with this girl. Just go out here and jump off the edge. <laughs> I mean, I get, like, gameplay-wise, she can really only just sort of go up and down, but we saw her when she fell off the cliff. She was able to just drift down. Drift down here. Caterpillar. Eat that. Well, we better take a bite, Nina.
I think it's a boss fight. Oh, come on. Alright. Alright, let's, um... Magic damage half three turns. I, I don't know. Magic isn't really what I'm after. Sparrow. <laughs> They're trying to force feed you. What kind of damage would that attack do? Alright, I kind of pushed Nina further in the direction. I... I put her with a master, which increases uh, her magic abilities. Oh wait, this wasn't much of a boss fight. I was going to say, I put her with a master, which increased her magic abilities while decreasing her physical abilities. So she was actually, like, not a particularly good physical character, but one that was good enough that you could rely on it in a pinch. Kind of killed that, though, and pushed her further in the direction of magic. It worked out in this case, though. She nuked that thing real quick. Although, it doesn't seem like it was very um, balanced to be a difficult fight anyway. They probably didn't want to... Hmm. They probably didn't want to go and create a situation where you might have potentially had Nina be a character that wasn't you're used, not used to, or was allied with a bad master, or didn't have good equipment, and then you get stuck into an impossible fight they can't do anything about. They probably wanted to avoid that, which is why the fight was on the easy side. Oh, yeah, climb down. Yeah, climb down, that makes sense. Don't float down or anything. Well, there you go. And she grew. Oh, well, did you look at that? Maybe I should censor that. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay. Whatever. I'm gonna say that was a weird little distraction, wasn't it? It's the dog. Oh, he's over here. Alright, that was a goofy little thing. The fairy stuff in um, Breath of Fire 3, at least, they had shut down a lighthouse, and then you uh, had to go, you went and activated the lighthouse, and the fairy showed up and said, like, oh, well, you had it off for a reason. Then you come to where the fairies live, and then you gotta kill a dolphin that's been terrorizing them, and some stuff like that, and then you have the chance to go back later and help build the fairy village back up, but there was a lot more to it in 3 than I've seen here. Maybe they'll make a return, but that was just some weird little level, I mean, there wasn't really much to that. But, I mean, this ends up being a good place to end the episode anyway, though. So, we're going to go into this warrant and try to rescue uh, Cray. See if he, uh... Still unclear as to why we weren't all taken prisoner, but, you know, whatever. I guess I'll find out. Maybe. What I'm saying is you think Nina would be taken prisoner, not just Cray. Apparently he's some, like, member of the royal family. But, I mean... Nina isn't. 
I mean, I guess it's a different royal family, but I mean, a princess comes stumbling onto your doorstep and does break into some place. You'd think you'd do something about that. 